Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video here checking out the latest update to the Paranoid Android Custom ROM. I'm running the 13th of July build here, so if you want all these changes, make sure you're running that date or later. So we'll start off with the changes to Halo, and it's had a slight redesign. If I just open Halo right here, you can see the notification switcher part of it does look a little bit different. It's got these white dots on top of my finger, so you can easily see which actual notification you're on and how many you have in your list. You'll also notice the text is now in a tinted rectangular box, and it just makes the whole thing look a little bit more professional a little bit more polished so a good job there they've also added two new gestures so when you went up before you had dismiss notification and hide when you went down you still have those but now you have two more so if you go all the way up you've got clear all notifications and if you go all the way down this is one of my favorites you've got hide and silence until woken up so let's say you're in a game or watching a video and you don't want halo to pop out and disturb you you can let go of that now and that's it, it hides away even if you get a notification now Halo doesn't ping, it doesn't come back onto your screen, it doesn't bug you. You can see it did slightly change, but it didn't come out and ping, so that's a cool feature. To reactivate it, literally you just pull Halo back out and now it will work again. So let's just take a quick screenshot and you'll see Halo now ping. So two really cool gestures there for Halo. Now one of the biggest changes with this update has got to be the fact that it allows Halo to work on tablet UI mode. I know a lot of people that were waiting for this to happen so you can easily change it to tablet UI mode in the hybrid properties and now you can turn on and off Halo just by uh, pressing the Halo button here and you can now see you can have Halo activated in tablet UI mode and it works in exactly the same way so if you like to use tablet UI mode you now have the option to use Halo officially. They've also included quite a few little fixes in terms of Halo and you can see them right here this is the Halo change log that I've uh, included in this video so you can see all the small changes that they've made. One of my favorites has got to be that Halo will not wake on orientation change anymore. That always used to bug me when I was watching a YouTube video I changed the orientation and Halo would pop back out that's now fixed. It stays hidden if you've hidden it before, so a good job there. They've also included Cyanogen Mod's Privacy Guard feature, which allows you to block certain applications from seeing all your personal data, like contacts and messaging lists. To access this, all you have to do is go to Settings, scroll down to Security, scroll all the way down here and you'll see Privacy Guard. Click into that and you've got the option to turn on the shield if you want those to be blocked from accessing your personal data or you can enable it by default for newly installed applications. So it's definitely worth the update for just for the privacy guard because it's a pretty cool feature. Nonetheless, it's a good update from the PA team. I definitely suggest updating tablet UI for Halo, more Halo gestures and privacy guard. So yeah, peace out.